How does a YouTube channel actually make money and how much could you expect to make from a million views? Hi, this is Break From Life and we usually make videos about snooker, but as this is Christmas week, I don't have a lot of time and the fuse in here keeps blowing because of the bad weather. So I thought I'd answer the question I get asked the most that isn't actually about snooker. And that's, can you actually get paid for making YouTube videos? Well, the answer to that is of course, yes. Every time you see an advert on YouTube, the video creator and YouTube itself will be paid money by the advertiser. So the question is then, if I get a million views, how much money am I likely to make? So basically this channel gets about 2,000 US dollars for every million views it gets. But that's not the whole story. The system that works out how many ads you get on your YouTube videos is incredibly complicated, but it's mostly dependent on how viewer friendly your content is and how likely that content is to be able to sell products. A lot of the time though, there's nothing you can really do about this because the content you're making is the content you're making. So all you can do is try and get more and more views. Why do some videos get basically no views and others get millions of views? Because it's not all down to the quality of the content. You can see this clearly with Luke, the second person we've heard from, from Leeds in the United Kingdom, who's clearly just using YouTube as extra storage space with this guitar video here. <laughs> Again, you'd think that his video only has 24 views because of its low quality, but this video is probably equally low quality and it has 45 million views. The secret to all of this is to make your YouTube channel a lot like a TV show, crossed with a newspaper and crossed with a search engine. To start off with, if we look at the TV show element of it, all of your videos need to have the same theme. In the same way, if you look at the TV show Top Gear, it always finds a way to crowbar cars into the show, even though what they may be talking about has nothing to do with cars. And in that way, it's always car themed. And if your audience are interested in cars, then they're not necessarily going to be interested in fishing, baking, or even music. You see, to get your channel monetized in the first place, you're going to need, along with the 4,000 hours of watch time in the last year, a thousand subscribers. And there's no way that you're going to get a lot of people subscribing to your channel if all your videos are on different themes. The next thing to look at is search engines. Just like Google, YouTube has its own search engine. And if you put something in like snooker, a lot of options will come up. So you could have snooker trick shots. And the shot at the top is decided mostly on what's known as search engine optimization. And what that actually means is by using good titles and descriptions, I'm able to get a video in fifth place on this list with only having 11,000 views and all the videos around it have 1 million, 2.1 million, that's got a million, that's got 1.8, that's only got 8.4, but that, just like mine, has used snooker and trick shots in the title of the video, and that helps it get closer to the top of every ranking. And you can do that by adding these, all the auto-suggestions that YouTube provides for you when you start typing anything in the search bar, into the title of your video. So you can add one of these to the title of your video, the one that's the most relevant to the title of your video. And it's best to pick and choose one that hasn't really been thought of by other people. Once you've done that, you can then add more of them into the first two lines of the description of your video. And that optimizes your video to get it close to the top of the search rankings. So once you've got your videos close to the top of a search ranking like I have here, it's all about the thumbnails and the titles working together to get the views. You see, what's going to make people click on that video instead of that video? It's all about how people look at it and think, well, that's explaining side spin. And if they choose your video over someone else's, then you're more likely to be pushed in other areas of YouTube, giving you more and more views. 
the final thing you're going to need to do is keep people watching for as long as possible. This is in a way making your YouTube videos a lot like a TV show. You've got to keep people watching and the way you do that, the main way you do that is to offer them something. Say in the case of this video I'm going to show you a bit about how YouTube works and keep showing them more and more of things that will actually help them. If it's things that people actually want to know, they will keep watching despite however bad the quality of the video is, or even in some cases how boring it is or how long it goes on, and I should stop there right now. This is why it's absolutely vital to have some notes on what your YouTube video is about and trying to explain. Good lighting is also absolutely vital because the more people who can see you, the more people who will keep watching your video. That's why I installed this clever lighting system that allows me to be seen from any side of the table. And a lot of the time on YouTube, sound can be a lot more vital than the picture itself. I hope this video has been useful to someone because I've had no time to make a proper video this week. If you do want to see a proper video, have a look at this one on our, some of our trick shots we did, or this one on side spin. And remember, don't just watch play and make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel and visit the website. See you later.